Hey everyone! So I am back in California. I flew in from Bangkok a few days ago and I'm currently just recovering from jet lag and I feel like I'm almost fully recovered which is a good thing and it was just a really bittersweet ending to my trip. I had so much fun on my trip. I was in London and then I flew to Bangkok and then I just really didn't want to come home but the good thing about coming home is that I will be back on my regular filming schedule which means a lot more videos for you guys and I'm just so happy to be filming again because it's nice to have like a few days like a little break from filming but after a week I really start to miss you guys and while I was traveling the only communication I really had with you guys was through Twitter and since I was in a different time zone it was really frustrating because when I was awake most of you guys were asleep. All in all I'm happy to be back and back in my element so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into everything. So um, I'm not going to go in any kind of order, I'm just going to pick things up as I go here. So I picked up these two olive oil body lotions from this store in Seacon Square, which is one of the many malls in Bangkok. It's a store called Potion, and the body lotions look like this. Now, I don't remember all of the prices for everything that I'm about to show you because everything was in bot which is Thai currency so it's hard for me to remember the prices but these really were not expensive at all and I picked up two of them because I love the smell and they're really moisturizing I opened one and already started using it and then the other one I will probably give away to one of my friends as a gift because it's really really nice I think I already know who I'm gonna give it to but it smells really really good then I went back to Watson's which quickly became one of my favorite places to go because they just had so many makeup brands that I had never seen before and I just wanted to buy up the entire makeup department. But um, I picked up two more of the Majolic Majorca Lash Expander Frame Plus Mascaras and I have been using this mascara and I really really like it. I've been using it instead of the volumizing one because my volumizing one is almost gone and it's starting to get a little bit clumpy. So I started using this one and I think I may like this one better but I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to do a full review on both mascaras and a comparison on them. So. Yeah, um, I picked up two more of these because I'm planning to give one away to a friend and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other one. I might give it away in a giveaway. And then I picked up some more stuff from Can Make. I really, really love their lip products and the great thing is I was able to swatch everything so I knew what they were going to look like. I picked up another lip gloss. This is in the color number four, Sugar Milk Tea. I picked up this color before but I really liked it and I wanted one for myself so I got one for myself. The other one I will be giving away in my giveaway and if you guys are wondering I will be having two different giveaways. One for the makeup that I picked up in England and then one for all of the makeup that I picked up in Thailand so I will have two different giveaways. I just have to get all of this stuff together and film the videos and then they will be up as soon as possible. And then I picked up two lipsticks from Can Make. One of these is Baby Beige. Which, well, I'm just showing you the packaging. You can't really see the product. And the other one is color number four, Peach Beige. So I will be giving away one of these as well. And then last but not least, this is really random and kind of gross, but... <laughs> Um, I really wanted to pick this up the last time I was in Thailand, but I didn't have time to pick it up. And they don't sell this kind of stuff at drugstores here in the States, so that's why I really, really wanted this. And it is the Nivea Extra Whitening Antiperspirant, which looks like this. And this is just supposed to lighten up any kind of darkness that you have under your arms. I know not everybody has this problem, but I know a lot of people have this problem, and I don't have a huge problem with darkness, but I do have a little bit, so I'm hoping that this will work, and I know this is really gross, but girls, we have these problems, and we need to talk about them, so I think this could be a really good thing if it works out well, so I'm excited to try this out. Then I stopped by Etudi House, 
and they honestly have the cutest counters they are absolutely adorable and there's a frog outside that's croaking I don't know if you guys can hear that if you can't then I'm just gonna sound like a nutcase but there's a frog outside that is croaking anyways um, I didn't pick up any makeup from a 2d house I was contemplating a BB cream but I really don't need a BB cream because I love the one that I have and none of the other makeup really stood out to me so I picked up a bunch of nail polish instead um, I really wanted this rose gold color that they had but they were also sold out and I went to multiple counters and they didn't have it so I just kind of had to give up so maybe next time I will pick it up but I picked up two nail polishes now I'm not sure what the names are because everything is either in Korean or Thai on these nail polishes so I can't tell you guys the names of these nail polishes but I can show you what they look like these are um, clear nail, nail polishes and they have some glitter and some rainbow hearts inside I thought these were really cute so I got two one for the giveaway and then I picked up this really nice creamy opaque nude color that I have on my nails right now it's kind of like a taupey nude color and I really like it because it's really opaque so it's not sheer at all and then I also picked up a top coat as well because I was in desperate need of a top coat because mine completely dried up and ran out so I needed a new one now while I was in Thailand I fell in love with Oriental Princess and Oriental Princess is a Thai beauty brand and I believe it's sold exclusively in Thailand which means it's not sold anywhere else which I know is kind of a bummer I'm not completely sure on that but I'm pretty sure it's not sold anywhere else. If I'm wrong, please correct me down below in the comments. But I went back to Oriental Princess because I had to get more stuff since I can't get it here in the States. So I went back and picked up two more of the lip shines, which are pretty much exact dupes for the MAC Tender Tones. I love these. So I picked up color number two and color number six. And then I also picked up four body sprays. They're actually three different scents, but I picked up four boxes because I got two of the same one. But all of this stuff at Oriental Princess is really affordable. Like these body sprays were no more than 200 baht. So the one that I really, really wanted, I hunted for this because they were sold out at a couple stores. It is the Icy Cool Body Cologne Spray. I love this. I got two of these, one for me and one to give away and I just love this. It's a really fresh fruity scent. It's just like my ideal scent. So this will also be included in my giveaway. And then I picked up Forever Bright and the... I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name. You guys can just read it because I don't want to butcher it. So this one is more of a floral scent and then this one is a really sweet fruity scent. So if you're ever in Thailand, I highly recommend that you stop by Oriental Princess, especially if you're looking for body sprays because body sprays can be kind of hard to find in Thailand and when you do find them, they're really expensive. So these are affordable, they smell great, they have a good range of scents to choose from. So I highly recommend Oriental Princess and make sure you check out their lip shines too because they are amazing. Now, last but not least, I picked up some clothes because clothing in Thailand is really affordable if you're not buying brand name stuff, if you're just buying little things from the vendors on the streets or in the malls, it's really, really affordable. So the first thing I picked up, I picked up two dresses because I'm just obsessed with dresses. I am totally a dress girl. I would... Whoa, oh my gosh, that scared me. So that was my phone that just went off and it really startled me. I was not expecting that at all. But anyways, back into my haul, as I was saying, I am totally a dress girl. I would live in a dress every single day if I could. They are just so comfortable and they're basically just like an all-in-one outfit. You don't have to think about anything. You just put it on and you're good to go. You don't have to think about bottoms or anything like that. They're just really comfortable and easy to wear. So the first dress I picked up is this floral one. It has longer, well actually I think these are like full length long sleeves but I just rolled them up. If you watch my Thailand vlog video on my other channel I'm wearing this dress and I love it. It's really comfortable, it's soft and 
Um, you can also wear this as like a really long shirt, like a tunic. It also looks good with jeans as well. And I just put a belt around it when I wore it and I love it. And then I picked up this black dress with white butterflies on it and it has these fluttery sleeves. And I actually wore this on my last night out in Bangkok when we went out to French food because I love French food and this is one of those great in-between dresses for occasions that aren't really formal but they're not casual either. So that's why I wore this to dinner and it was really comfortable. If you can't tell, I'm a girl who is all about comfort. And then last but not least, I picked up this pink knit scarf and this was just kind of a random purchase. I just stumbled across this as I was leaving the mall and had to have it and it was really affordable. All of this stuff cost $10 or less. I think this scarf cost maybe like $5. So it was a really great deal and I love scarves, especially when they're knit ruffly scarves. I just cannot get enough of ruffly scarves. So that is pretty much it for this haul. If you haven't seen the first part of my Bangkok haul, I will link that video down below as well as my vlog that I did while I was in Thailand that I posted on my other channel. So those two videos will be down below for you guys if you want to check them out. And if you have any requests for me, make sure to leave them down below in the comments because I'm going to be filming a lot of videos. I'm excited to be back and filming for you guys. So let me know what you want to see. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.